This is Witchspace News for Friday the 14th of February 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...in game Galnet News now has nothing on it. Operation Ida repairs its 100th station and an elite dangerous commander lands using only his voice. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Today the 14th of February 2020 marks the one month anniversary of the last item of news posted on the Elite Dangerous in game news feed known as Galnet News. The news on Galnet expires after a month and therefore as a result the in game news feed is now completely empty. In August last year Frontier announced that the nature of the Galnet newsfeed content would be changing with what they referred to at the time as off camera stories disappearing. The term off camera was used to describe stories that essentially added colour to the Elite Dangerous Universe but had no actual quantifiable or importantly viewable effect on the game world. In the August announcement Frontier said that the number of Galnet news articles would be reduced overall but the stories that were on the newsfeed would reflect something actually happening in the game such as interstellar initiatives, community goals, the release of new ships or modules or significant changes to the narrative. At the start of January this year Frontier announced that all their development efforts would be going into bug fixes, betas and fleet carriers and as a result the cycle of interstellar initiatives and community goals would be put on hold. This chain of events has led us to the point we find ourselves at today where the official news feed in the game is now empty and devoid of any news. What started as a revamp of the in game news system has through circumstance turned that revamp into a famine. Coupled with no concrete news on when interstellar initiatives or CGs will return this unfortunate chain of events lends fire to the voices in the community arguing that the game is devoid of content. Whilst a fair argument can definitely be made for there being no new developer supported content in the game right now it isn't true that there is nothing happening in the galaxy at all. It's been our experience that there is almost always something happening in the galaxy albeit player driven. But it is quantifiable and it is most definitely not off camera. And it seems a shame to us that Galnet News continues to refuse to mark these events and shine its not insignificant light on them. As an example we'd argue at the very least that the next article we've chosen to feature on this weeks Witchspace News is A in universe and B newsworthy. An argument could be made for the third article as well. There are always community events in the Elite Universe from organisations like the AXI, the Buckyball Racing Club, the Hutton Orbital Truckers and Operation Ida to name but a few and it seems like a huge missed opportunity to not feature those events in the game as a way of supporting both the events themselves and the health of the game and its player base. These events and the community around them are part and parcel of the weekly lifeblood of Elite Dangerous but it seems at the moment it's in spite of Frontier developments and not because of them. Is this an oversight at FDev? Is this due simply to staffing numbers? Is this part of some greater plan that sadly isn't shared with the community at large? Here at the Burr Pit we think there's a plethora of news that could be filtered and then updated on the newsfeed and to ignore it seems like a huge wasted opportunity. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Through the many cycles of the ongoing Thargoid conflict numerous human settlements in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy have been attacked and taken offline. From the point where the Oracle, the first station in the Pleiades region to be attacked, was set ablaze one player driven organisation has risen to the top and dedicated itself absolutely to sourcing and delivering the necessary freight to the damaged stations now dotted throughout the expanding conflict zone. Operation Ida is that organisation and they have recently conducted their 100th station repair. Many of the stations have had to be repaired twice or more due to repeat attacks and a great number of the goods transported have had to travel huge distances to reach their more distant destinations and yet Ida doggedly continues to coordinate commanders and resources time and again to get the affected stations back online regardless of the difficulty involved. 
There is a debt of gratitude owed by the entire galactic community to the commanders of Operation Ida whose tireless efforts over the last 3 years have ensured that whilst the Thargoids might be able to take ground from us they never keep it for long. If you want to get involved with Operation Ida then head over to their website or discord both of which are linked below. Commander Exegius shared an incredible in-game video this week that was part of a greater livestream featured on his YouTube channel. In the video Jerry Farris who suffers from the debilitating condition muscular atrophy is shown landing his ASP Explorer using nothing but his voice. The commander uses the software package called Voice Attack that is popular with a large number of elite commanders who use it to interact with various aspects of the game but his unique requirements mean that he has taken that usage to a whole new level using his own bespoke voice attack profile. The video is nothing short of astounding and watching Jerry's mastery of such a challenging game using nothing but his voice is something that has to be seen to be believed. The video is linked below along with an archive of the entire livestream featuring Jerry. Do give it a look. For more details on anything we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below and if you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.